everybody to Higher Place Church. We are Angelo and Veronica. It's good to see you all. Oh, hope you're well. Pray that you're well. Pray that you're strong in your faith and you're trusted in the Lord for all things in your life. But we are so grateful that you would even consider just listening to what God is speaking through us so that we can get it to you. So I pray that uh, this, again, you know, that God will give you ears to hear and that you'll listen to what God is saying to you today. We love you. Yeah, Come yeah. on, V. Let's get right into yeah. this. Yes, let's get right into this. Okay, so recently we did an entire six-part Bible study on Galatians. Guys, the, the mm. Word of God has absolutely changed my life, and it's changed my world Our life. view. Yeah, it's changed our lives. It'll change your worldview. It'll change how you see the world. And... Um, that book of Galatians talked to me so loudly, and I didn't even know the name of what we're actually going to discuss today. But I heard a couple speak on this topic, and I didn't even know there was a name for it. And I just wanted to share some incredibly important information about this. Um, so I want you to keep in mind, like in the book of Galatians, any of you who saw that, that Bible study... I want, just want to stress how dangerous it is for somebody who has come to Christ to then go back to the law as Apostle Paul warned us believers, okay? And this is really going to explain how important that is. I want to say nothing is as it should be, but everything is as God said it would be. Wow, that's good. That's really good. And, and also, wow. not, nothing is what it seems. My perception, okay, so isn't, to start looking, perception isn't reality. Look, yeah, exactly. We have to start looking with spiritual eyes. Yeah, so um, this awesome couple, Steve and Yana Ben Noon, I hope, I hope I'm mentioning their names correctly, are award-winning journalists who have an, an independent news source wow. called Israeli News Live. And um, this just impacted me so much. Um, Steve and Jana were Christian Zionists. And I'm going to explain what that is. Because um, I didn't even, even know what that was. <laughs> they even lived in Israel. And, um, and they have recently come out of Zionis Zionism. Okay? So let's, let's discuss what is Zionism because it's not yeah, exactly easy to, to explain, yeah. but I believe after you hear this message, you're going to understand. So Zionism, um, and this is according to WHTT.org, somebody who has studied this extensively and writes on it extensively. Zionist Christianity is the belief that the present day political state of Israel is the fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Wow. Most people would agree with that. Absolutely. You know? But Absolutely. now what, what we are discovering is that this present state of Israel <clears throat> is, isn't always what people think. Mm -hmm. So we believe that Jesus is the fulfillment of biblical prophecy along with um, the new Jerusalem. Jesus, you know? Jesus is the fulfillment of everything. Everything. Revelation 19.10 says, Everywhere for the testimony, and everything. Yeah. The testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So that right there, the revelation of mm. Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of all biblical prophecy. The revelation that Jesus Christ is our Savior and our Messiah. So, um, so Zion, so this is a big deal. So let me explain this even more. Uh, Steve and Jana, uh, Jana are Jewish. Or well, I know Steve is a Jewish believer. Mm -hmm. He's a Jewish person. So they got involved with Jewish everything when they went to Israel. Okay. So Zionism basically centers around Israel Israel and Jewish every culture yes sure yes 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 okay so this so this is a big deal and they have a very good reason 
why they got out of this, okay? So, so here, Steve and Jana, they're in Israel. They're doing um, Israeli things. They're doing, doing Jewish everything. Um, they hung out with rabbis, you know, and, and got involved in, in their community. And, sure. And, but you know what? They started sensing that something was wrong. Something was a little bit off. And they started to, and you know, they're journalists, so they started asking questions. They started studying, and they started researching. Mm. And they <laughs> found out and felt that they were being deceived in some way. So, um, and so this is what caused them to come out of this movement. They were like, you know what, there's some real deception here. And again, not everything is as it seems, right? So, and I want to say this, because of their stance on the truth, you know, and, and I will show their, their webpage and, and their YouTube site, Israeli News Live, there has actually been an attempt on their lives. Wow. And the life of uh, Yana's dad was actually um, murdered taken. So they are seeking justice, and I will link all this information. It's a super, super sad, sad story. So, um, and, and we think that, that, you know, I'm saying all the people that have kind of been watching them think that <laughs> there is some uh, connection. So, so more on Zionism. Zionism was methodically instilled, and they, uh, they talked about this in their, in their testimony how Zionism was methodically instilled in Christians through something called the Schofield Reference Bible, mm. which I've heard about, but I didn't know about, okay? So now this is, again, from this man, um, C.E. Carlson, who wrote something called the Zionist-created Schofield Bible. The source, now he, now he calls this the source of the problem in the Mideast, Okay, and why Judeo Christians support war? Mm. So this is a huge claim. But guys, let's please hear him out, and let's hear out Steve and Jana's testimony. Um, so he says, so C.E. Carl Carlson says the scheme with the Schofield Bible was to alter the Christian view of Zionism by creating and promoting a pro-Zionist subculture within Christianity. It was designed to create a subculture around a new worship icon, the modern state of Israel. The revised wow. Bible was called the icon. Scope, yeah, a new worship, a new object of worship. He goes on to say the revised Bible was called the Schofield Reference Bible, and with limitless, it had limitless advertising and promotion. It became the best-selling Bible in America and has remained so for 90 years. I had no idea about this, and I think that everybody needs to know. So this is quite amazing to me, but not surprising. So this is an article, and I want to read some of this because I really want to explain, again, this explains what Zionism is and why Steve and Yana got the heck out of there, okay? And this is the reason why. Guys, please listen up. This concerns all of us. Absolutely. This concerns everybody. Yeah. Okay, so her, uh, this is so beautiful, this article. And again, I will link this. I will link all these things. She says, the title of it is Beware of Anti-Gentile Hate Speech. Okay? Now, this is coming from Jewish believers, okay? They're sticking up for Gentile Christians, okay? So wow. we got to listen up. We got to listen up. So she says here, Christian pastors have exchanged Christ for the Jews. Wow. There is a focus on Jews as the light of the world, as the chosen people that own the rights to interpretation of the scripture, Christian pastors are selling Jewish Bibles to, the, to their Christian followers. Bibles that contain no New Testament, no name of Jesus, and all the commentaries reflect rabbinic 
interpretations of the Old Testament prophecies. The suffering servant of Isaiah 53 is no longer Jesus. The Jews are considered in his place. This is mind-blowing. This is mind-blowing. She goes on to say, it is a very disappointing picture to see a Christian pastor inviting rabbinic guests to his program and promoting sales of such books. I'm not saying that these pastors forfeited the Christian New Testament altogether. However, no one can sit on two chairs at one time. Wow. She says, making friendships with Christ, denying <laughs> Jewish rabbis, calling them our Jewish brothers, while ostracizing Christians that refuse the Judaic views and their Talmud is an ultimate betrayal of the true brothers in Christ. Now, this comes out of their research because they research. Again, these people are intelligent people. They're journalists. They do their homework, okay? Yeah. They research yeah, they everything. They cross their T's and dot their I's, okay? this is all which this most Christians don't. Most Christians right. don't even crack the Bible. So, here you go. Yeah. Okay, right, exactly, because if you even read the Bible in its right context, you're going you're gonna to know this, okay? And so, by the way, they, the, 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 the modern-day church today, they have to support this so they don't come off as anti-Semitist. Anti-Semitist. Uh, Anti-Semitic. Anti-Semitic, right. correct. Right, okay. So that's, that's a big player in mm -hmm. this. That you don't want to offend yeah. a culture. Yeah, yeah. And, and we certainly no, don't either. But, but, we're not talking... No, but hold on. We'll offend Jesus, but we can't offend our culture. That's right. See, wh which right. one do you want to offend? You know, come Amen. on, man. Amen. And we're not talking about all no. Jewish people. No, We're not no, speaking absolutely. for all I Jewish had, people. I grew up with... I, mm -hmm. I, I played bar mitzvahs. I, I had Jewish friends. I still have Jewish friends. I love them. Okay, and they've told me that they're the, they're better than everybody. Wow. Okay, that, these okay. are my friends. I didn't even know what he, know what he was talking about. You, you're better than me? He goes, sorry, Angel, I am. I'm like, this is going to prove what you just said. Amen, go ahead. Okay, what, again, this is Beware of Anti-Gentile Hate Speech by Yana Ben Noon. Okay, well, guys, hold on to your seats, all right? Um, yeah. <laughs> So she says, all I can affirm is that none of the facts we have presented come out of our own head. Mm. We have used the words of Talmud. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce this all right. Uh, Shulchan Aruch, Zohar, the book of Tanya, various writings of Jewish rabbis, the Old and New Testament, videos by Jewish rabbis and various Jewish people, and the Jewish, especially Chabad websites, and Israeli <laughs> websites to expose all their teachings, <laughs> values, and beliefs. She says, what is deeply concerning to us is the Judaic view of the so-called Gentiles, their belief in a two-tier system, what you just said, mm -hmm. Jew versus Gentile, mm -hmm. published books and videos of rabbis that publicly state that the Gentile soul is of a lesser quality than the Jewish soul. Wow. While defending this from the Jewish mysticism viewpoint called the Kabbalah, with statements that the Jewish soul contains a divine spark that supposedly Gentile soul is missing and can never have. Their belief that they alone are God ordained to lead the Gentiles in the Noahide law. We're going to explain this. The Noahide law. Please remember that. She says, which is supposedly an obligation of every single Gentile to keep without which he or she can never enter the new world mm. to come. The new world order. to come. New world. Yeah, new world order. New world to come, she says. According to the Talmud, the punishment for violation of any of the seven Noahide laws is capital punishment of beheading. Wow. wow. This is what 
all their research led them to. Yeah. And, what, and, all and, the and we're going to prove this. We're going to prove this, that this is what they're saying is correct. And what's happening today is devastating. Mm -hmm. Murderous and, and killings of innocent children and babies and, and, and women. Uh, and how do they justify that? Okay, so, okay, mm. Noah Hyde laws, Noah Hyde laws. So any believer, now, now this, is, this is just my, my, own, my own thoughts. Any believer who goes back to the law of Moses that Apostle Paul warned us against mm -hmm. are the most susceptible to this, okay? Coming under these Noah Hyde laws. So how much easier will it be to get Christians, okay, especially considering their allegiance to Israel and the Jews, and put them under these laws. Okay. Right after what you just said, the Christians of this America that support everything that's happening in Israel, yet, again, it goes back to not reading your Bible, because Apostle Paul was what? Italian? What was he, Russian? No. German? Was he American? He was a Hebrew of Hebrews. Oh, he was a of, Hebrew of them all. Of he was the leader Hebrews. of them. Yeah. He, he would he kill. He was making his way to the top. He'd be coming to kill me and you. He was coming to kill me and you. But when he got saved, he left his culture, yeah. his whole Jewish culture, which is a very strong culture, Jewish culture is very strong. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but the problem is when yeah. it gets in the way of you and the Lord, then it becomes yeah. a major issue. Yeah. Then it becomes a salvation issue. issue. See, anything that's a salvation issue, that's what we want to address. We don't want to talk about things that don't have anything to do with your soul going to hell. Or heaven. So this is the most deceptive thing about Christian Zionism that is rampant mm. in evangelical churches. Is that the most deceptive evangelical? thing? What evangelical? Is that? What is that? <laughs> the most deceptive thing about it is bringing you back under the law mm. and away from Christ. So your support of Israel, newsflash, your support of Israel is not what gets you blessed. What gets you blessed is being forgiven by God through Jesus Christ. And again, so, that's not an anti-Semitic comment. Right. That is a biblical comment. That is a spiritual comment. It's a consequence that will happen if we continue on the road that we're continuing on. So Psalm 32 says, Blessed is he whose mm. transgression is forgiven, whose mm. sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. So what makes us blessed is being washed, our sins washed away by the blood of Jesus and being forgiven. That's what makes a person blessed. So I want to talk about this. Yeah, I just want to ask a question. Do we follow Net Newton? The okay, present, the I'm going to tell you okay. who we don't follow. Okay. Okay? When you vote for Trump, <laughs> guys, you are voting for Zionism. I am so sorry to report this to you. You're rude. And that, <laughs> yeah, I'm rude, exactly. <laughs> In fact, you know what? We believe when you vote for politics, you're, you're voting for... <laughs> Yeah, I'm rude, exactly. <laughs> when you vote for politics, you're voting for your own demise. Trump, wow. now listen to this, not many people know this, Trump converted to Judaism in mm. 2017. You have Remember? a video clip of it, we don't you? We talked about the Talmud. That you could put in there? He converted, yes. You right. a nice little hat on top. We will, yes, we're going to show all of this. Trump converted to Judaism in 2017, guys. Wow. And is the biggest supporter of the Noahide laws, mm. okay, in which Christians will be executed for their faith. Yeah, but these old Christians, nobody knows the Bible better than me. <laughs> no, no, nobody knows the Bible. It's my favorite book. He never read it, but, but, it's, but it's his favorite mm, book. I think the Talmud is his favorite book. There you go. And okay, we're not, it, this is not, you know, anti-Trump or anti 
Kamala, whoever. This is anti politics <laughs> and anti Zionism. It is. Yeah. It is. And let me let me let me clarify yeah. this. The government rests upon whose shoulders? Yes. God Jesus Almighty, Christ. Jesus Christ, not on some man's shoulders. So I found this information uh, through Israeli News Live from Steve and Yana. Okay. Mm. So please note that Noahide laws do not exist in our holy Bible. Okay. These are man-made, made-up commandments, okay? Yeah. Uh, it's entertainment for okay, people. Okay, now I just want to prove this. There's a 2020 article in Is Israel National News. Donald J. Trump, sh champion. This is, this is Israel talking about Donald J. Trump, champion of Noahide law. Hmm. During his almost four years in office, Donald Trump has been the greatest supporter of Noahide law in U.S. history. And that stems from the churches that he tends. They ha he, they, he has to, based upon the relationships he has with like Paula White and these other false teachers that he's under mm -hmm. that are controlling the evangelical yeah. group of right. people. Right. Okay. He is a master manipulator oh. and deceiver You're about Satan? of yeah. the Christian people in particular. And that's, that's who right. Satan aims to deceive. That's right. Believers. Your your liberty is being spied out, okay? To be taken away from you. You all saw my shirt. Stop the stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's time for us as people of God to wake up to the truth. Okay, and this information here, you can ignore it. You can, you know, I don't even, that doesn't really pertain to me. No, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. When you go to your little mm -hmm. nightclub church with the head, you know, with the, you know, the nightclub owner and, and you go over there and you're in a building that made with human hands, okay, that mean nothing to God because God ain't there, okay, but you'll reject information like this that will make you free, that will open up your mind, open up your spirit, open up your heart to the reality that you're being lied to. Stop the stupid. Don't yeah. let people lie to you. Don't go to these buildings. Don't listen to them. I promise you, open your Bible. Sit at your table with your wife, your friend, your husband, your brother, your sister, and open the word of God and, and get into it. So here's a 2023 article, just, just last year, 2023. Hmm. This is an article about Trump's faith advisor, Paula White. Hmm. Now it says here, Trump's faith advisor, she says Christians must learn from Jews, not convert them. Hold on. First of all, before you say anything, in your comments, do you know this person personally? We do. Yeah. We know <laughs> her intimately. <laughs> so we I'm, sang. I'm, we sang at Paula White's church back in the nineties yeah. in Tampa, Florida. Correct, and so we've also were, ministered with so her in Bakersfield. So we have nothing against um, Paula White. No, she treated us very, very nicely. Very polite. Um, and. So this is nothing personal no. against her. This no. is nothing personal. This is just what yeah. it but is. We didn't know what we know now. Okay. So uh, she goes on to say, she says, uh, You're about in, Paula. In, in, uh, yes, yes. Paula White says Christians must learn from Jews, not not convert them, not preach the gospel to them. Right. This is this is this is crazy. Paula White said that. To be a good Christian, one must understand Judaism. She added that it is an injustice to ourselves not to understand the habits and laws of God as told in the Jewish Bible. Mm. I, I agree that we need to understand Judaism and how it is so polar opposite to Christianity. To the gospel. To the gospel. That's right. Where's when your you're defense not, of the gospel? When you're not even allowed to to share with them the gospel of Jesus Christ? Hold on, you're giving a no defense way. of a nation, but you're not giving a defense of the gospel. It's the same issue I have with a lot of these singers. They, they wanted them to be, defend me, defend me. Oh, it's all about defending me. Well, 
Forget me. Defend the gospel of Jesus Christ. Defend it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Me, and, and make that your mission in life. 